Namaste. Welcome to another lesson in our advanced course, and this time it's another lesson on recognizing patterns within a block. Today we're going to do a pattern what I call the walking stick. And here's my walking stick, and I'd like you to know, realize that, well, here's my walking stick, okay? Now, you can see it on a, on a board or a puzzle this way, or you could see it this way, or you could see it this way, or you could see it this way. All kinds of th ways in which you can see that walking stick. Now on the board here, I've got one that is right here. Uh, whoops, I've got to rub that one out. This is one right here. Here's another one here, where you've got like this, upside down. Here's another one here, where it's this shape. And in each case, we have a shape that does not, um, that, that, that does have, sorry, three empty cells in a line in, or in a row as it is in here or in a column as it is in here and in a line or a row here. And that's what you're looking for to get this sort of shape. Once you've got that, we use the same technique we used in our last lesson. We look at this and we say, these numbers up here cannot be up there. So the next step is to look and see what numbers up here are already here, and we already have a 1. So we're left with a 6, 8, and a 9. The 6, 8, and a 9 have to go in these spots. Now I'll, let's just take the 9 first because I've just noticed something. The 9 has to go there because we have a right, a left, and a center. So that makes these two a 6-8 matching pair. So that was quick, wasn't it? Let's look at this um, walking stick here. We have three empty cells there in a column. We know therefore that we can't have, we've already got a 9, so we've got to have to have a 2 and a 6 and an 8. They cannot be there, they have to be over here. Well already I can see here's a 2 and an 8, so that has to be a 6. You can't have an 8 there because there's already an 8, so the 8 has to go down there, which leaves this one for a 2. And so that was a quick one, wasn't it? Now what about this one? We have three empty cells here. We know that these numbers here cannot be in there because we cannot have a number repeated in a row, column or block. So uh, here we go. If there's, Let's look and see what's already in there. We have a, an 8 already, so what's left is a 3, 5, and 6. So I can do this if you want, 3, 5, 6, down at the bottom, like so. Uh, now let's see what we can do with that. Here's a 5, 5, 8, 3, 5, this is the 5, and 8, 3. We have a 5, so this becomes a, already this becomes a 3, 6. And therefore, this becomes a 3, 6. But look, we've got a 3, 6 here. So that changes the whole story. Um, if we've got a 6 here and a 6 here, we have to have a 6 there. Look, looking at it another way, here's a top, there's a bottom, there's a 6. So that's pro solved our problem there. So that has to be a 6. OK, now we're left with a 3 and a 5, I think. We've done our 6 here. So we now go to 3 and 5. This has to be a 3 and 5. That has to be a 3 and a 5. There have to be a matching pair. And look up here. We've got a 5. So that becomes a 3. And this becomes a 5. Now very quickly, you can see that we only have two left along here, so you know that they're going to be a matching pair. We, can, we've, we know already how to solve three empty cells when you've got all these filled up in a block by just counting one to nine. We've got one here, we've got another one here, we've got another one here. Uh, and uh, look, I've just something noticed, I didn't see a ramification. This happens a lot when you get to advance things. It's easy to miss something out. When I put that six in, that cancelled that six out. So that becomes a uh, 8, and therefore this becomes a 6. So now you can calculate what they are, and you'll only have 2 left. Now the question is being brought up, and it's a very good question. 
what should you do first? Should you look at the puzzle and see if you can see a pattern like I've just showed you? Or should you go through the step-by-step -step method that we've gone through for all the, all the puzzles in the earlier course? There's, it's up to you because sometimes one's quicker than the other. So sometimes uh, people will start off and do the traditional step-by-step -step method where you look at three uh, horizontal blocks and do the top, middle and bottom principle system or then you do the vertical blocks with the left center and right columns with the ramifications after that when you've done all that you can do the cross where you do a, a row and a column and they where they cross in a block that doesn't have a number you're looking for find out whether you've made any mistakes or you can add any more numbers or little numbers then you can go look for one cell left or two cells left and then you can look for three cells left over and then you can start going outside the puzzle if you want to. These are all the steps you can go through. If you get to that stage and you still find that you've, you still notice one of these patterns, now you know how to go, go another step. So that's it for the day. Namaste.